Hey, what's going on you guys? This is Hyperion Blue GT Champion and looks like the add-on content info is definitely here on Gran Turismo Sport. So, looks like this is the September update. So this is definitely that we are excited to see that Fuji Speedway is definitely now added in onto the track. So, looks like there's some nine vehicles has been now joining in board. So, looks like there are two Porsches are definitely adding in for it because we are so excited to see the the 2001 GT3 model is the 996 and also the 2008 is the 997 model for the Porsche 911 GT3. So, looks like two Porsche models is definitely quite pretty excited to see that we should probably try out with these two ride sports. And also there's the Plymouth SNR Jiha Roadster 1960, the Alfa Romeo Gua TC2 Cario Sedata uh, Segato model 1965, and looks like the Massa RX 500 from Gran Turismo 6 has definitely quite coming in to join in for GT Sport, and also two Japanese cars that we also seen is the Nissan. Fair Lady C 300 CX twin turbo two seater C32 model 1989, and the first generation of the Honda NSX Type R 1992. Because we are excited to see the first gen model for from Honda, and also the another Dodge Viper, which is the SRT 10 Coupe 2006, has definitely quite joining in for the for the game. And lastly. The BMW M3 GT BMW Motorsport, which is the race car from the 24 Hours of Nurburgring. Well, I kind of think that this is quite pretty excited to have nine cars to be joining in for it because this is going to be quite very awesome to see more for it. And also, two new courses has been now putting in for. It. Looks like Fuji Speedway is finally ready. To go that we should try it out for it. So the two courses is the full course and the GT course. So definitely we are luckily to have two courses to be able to have another Japanese track to go on in for. And also there's some three new events that's definitely quite going in for it because on the beginner league is the passion of Dr. Felix Wankel. And the Amateur League is the real circuit tours from Gran Turismo 4 and now probably entering in GT Sport and probably Group 1 prototype cars is now adding in for the Professional League because this is going to be quite good for having another group series for another event board. And also the Red Bull Ring has been added in to the circuit experience. And Definitely Fuji Speedway has definitely marked as a special collection has added in. But this is going to be quite pretty enjoyable to see it. Well, I kind of think I almost forgot about the... About the Gran Turismo World Tour. So maybe let's just going to have to check on over in the campaign board. So I kind of think that it also decreases back at 97%. So this is definitely where it's at. So four sections for the Red Bull Ring might be very good for it. So this is might be quite possibly to see it. Now let's take a look at the GT League since I'm just still trying to be focusing on getting that historic race car. So looks like definitely the new event has definitely quite adding in for it because three races is definitely quite good for it. So. Definitely, this event is for rotary cars. So next up is the Amateur League, is the Real Circuit Tours. So this is definitely that this event is competing in real, real world tracks. So I really wanted to check to see the registration board. So definitely, all the cars has definitely reduced to 394 HP. So I might be able to see that there's some fine vehicles with libraries to be available for. Wow, I kind of think that this is going to be quite pretty impressive to see it. And especially 
well, haven't checked on over to the Stars and Stripes event, so I kind of think two new rounds is probably at an end for it because this is going to be quite very good to see for a little preview checked in for it. And J Sports meeting adding up with two new cars because this is going to be quite pretty extend up to be seven round sports. Well, race six and race number seven is quite possibly very good to see it because, well, I kind of think Japanese sports meeting is quite adding up to have a total of seven rounds, just like the Clubman Cup. So probably Fuji Speedway and the Red Bull Ring are now adding in for some two new rounds on the Mercedes AMG Grand Prix. So this is going to be quite pretty impressive to get ready for it. So let's take a look at the Group 1 Cup. So this is going to be quite good to see it. So I kind of think that there's some few other prototype cars are now quite adding in for it to be verified for the competition for it. So I kind of think I'm still working on it to get the get this event to be available unless if I could get a historic race car for it. But especially I'm still trying to be taking a little bit of much hold until I'll be continuing on to the G2 League. So looks like 30 lap race on Fuji Speedway full course and it's definitely quite going in for race number four. Now this is going to be quite pretty good to see it in for. But don't worry, this won't take forever until if I could probably have to get a historic race car for it. But looks like I'm nearly there to be reached up to 10 million. But well, I'm on the 9 million range. Now, looks like the good news is Plymouth is now adding in on the America section because this is going to be quite good. So maybe I'll be able to burst off to go and check on Dodge and see how how we got the Viper SR T10 Coupe will be able to be in. Well, it's been a long time for this Dodge Viper as a second gen model. Well, I kind of think the first gen is the RT10 and this is the third generation model is the 2006. So looks like this is going to be quite very good for it, but we also wanted a, a SR T10 ACR model from Gran Turismo 5. So Looks like the SRT Coupe is definitely quite very good. So it also has the usual colors like the other previous last games. So this is going to be quite very good to see to pick any color to choose. Well, I kind of think the Copperhead Orange Saint is going to be the good quality pick for it. So maybe I should probably go with a Viper GTS Blue with Silver Stripes. That might be quite very good to be adding up for it. So let's just get on to wait and see this good style of this Kupo will be quite going in for. So actually, maybe it also depends to choose any kinds of colors with stripes in it. That might be quite very good. Okay, so looks like this is going to be quite giving a little bit buying up for it. So the total amount of this Dodge Piper SRT10 Coupe only costs 100,000 credits. So this is going to be quite very good and looks like I'll be able to acquire this car. Welcome to GT Sport, Dodge Piper SRT10. So this time, this car class is an N500 like the Dodge Viper GTS 2002. So, looks like this is going to be quite very good to see this modern sports car again for it. Now, next up is the Plymouth. Well, the Plymouth is the modern style muscle car that we always have and looks like this is definitely established in July 7th, 1928. So this one only has one car is the Plymouth XLR Gia Roadster, the 1960 model from the Pebble Beach, because this one is quite very classic and very retro style vehicle for it. But this one is only has one seater to be able included in for. 
Well, I kind of think that this vehicle is very historic and it's only cost a hundred well cost a million credits to buy this one just like the the F FR model well looks like this only has one color available for it because this is this is only the vehicle I have to buy this credit for it well even so most other classic vehicles are quite very expensive to be exclusive so looks like this one is quite very old school style boards, but I'll make sure I'll be except this one because this roadster is an N300 car. Now on over to Europe, it looks like the BMW M3 GTR is now quite adding in board along with the Porsche. So looks like this is going to be a Nurburgring 24 hour race car. But we also love the, the Le Mans race car because this is going to be quite very good for it. But even so, two differences of the BMW M3 GT Motorsport. So I kind of think the 2010 from the 24 hours of Le Mans and the 2011 is definitely used in the 24 hours of the Nürburgring with the Gran Turismo banner sign on it. That might be quite the luckiest guess to be able to choose for it. Well, we also remember about the base model back in GT6. It also to be customizable, to be colorized. But this one is quite very good. Means it only costs 450,000 credits. And this is gonna be marked as a group three category division. So I'll make sure we acquire this vehicle. So this one is actually a GT3 race car. Okay, so looks like this one has been adding in. Now, next up is to, to getting the two Porsche models. So this is going to be quite very impressive to see it. So, I kind of think since the release in October, because the, the GT3 RS 2016 model was actually has that, has the model type of 991. So looks like I might be able to start out to check on this Porsche 911 GT3 model 996. So yeah, I kind of, well, looks like this is the only Porsche model that we also seen in Gran Turismo 3 because it is definitely marked as a secret car. So probably it is quite to be hidden unknown, but well, I kind of think this model was definitely used by Kazuoni Yamaguchi because this car was definitely the new Millennium model board. But this is going to be a quite pretty impressive for a 2001 model. Drivetrain is RR and the perfect horsepower was pretty impressive. So, looks like this is going to be quite very good to go and get this car. So, I kind of think it only has 8 colors. So there's various white arctic silver metallic. Black, Rainforest Green, Iris Blue Metallic, Guards Red, Sansapar Red, and Speed Yellow. So I kind of think the the Paris White is definitely the only standard default color. So this model is the N400 sports car. So this is going to be a good performance for having this one. But well, maybe I'll accept to buy this car because this is going to be a good 2000s model for it. So, from Gran Turismo 3 to Gran Turismo Sport, this one is now fully premiumized and it's ready to drive. So, looks like the same N400 car, which is the 997 model, is the Porsche 911 GT3. Because this is going to be quite very good to see this one because. This is definitely the most same color like the usual board, but this time it has nine colors, has probably adding in boards. But this is going to be quite very good to see it. Well, almost forgot to take a look on the inside of the interior view. So this is going to be quite very impressive to have two Porsches to be in the game. So I kind of think differences models of each Porsche 
and the models in the interior. So definitely, it also has some few specific comparison design model sports, but same thing like the other Porsche 911 GT3 models. And then that's where the RS model was definitely born in 2016. So pra practically the 2008 model, that was definitely quite very race modificationable to be customized to participate in Le Mans and the Nürburgring. So looks like I might be able to choose any colors so I could choose whenever I can. So maybe I should probably have to go with any, maybe this Arctic Silver Metallic and well probably the Speed Yellow might be a very good choice of a color. So the same car class is the N400 and it only costs 160,000 credits. So maybe I should probably go and buy this vehicle. Okay, welcome to the team Porsche. Glad that you enjoy it. Now, looks like move on over to Alfa Romeo for another high expensive vehicle because it's been waiting for so long for, for the Italian brand. So I kind of think that the Gila TC2 model was definitely marked as a Group X. So definitely the horsepower is going to be at 168 HP. So this is going to be quite good. So maybe it is going to be marked as a historic race car for this event. Well, I kind of think that this is definitely the quite another high expensive car that most other Gran Turismo players have tried to get any kinds of historic race cars to be able to reach up by 20 million. So this one is a 10 million because it's very expensive to get. So I kind of think that it has one color available, but which is the same. But well, maybe they try to to earn hard to get some more credits because this is gonna have to take a little while for it unless it could probably have to get one four percent chance to see it. Now looks like we're about to be move on in on the Asian Pacific. So probably starting out with Nissan and then looks like the Fair Lady C is now quite adding in for it because this is definitely a long time for having another JTM cars because we also need Japanese cars to be in it because classic models like the late 80s and early 90s cars to be able to see it but take a look at this interior view to see it on this showcase so it also has eight colors yet available in case if you really want to choose out for it oh yeah definitely the yellow color was quite actually in it but we also need the purple one for it. So definitely that's the 300CX model, but now we're just gonna have to need to have a, a 350C or a 370C models will definitely quite need to be available in the future. So probably that, maybe let's go with the dark blue pearl, I guess. Well, maybe this is might be a better choice of the color to see this is gonna be to be on the purple one for it. Okay, so it looks like this is gonna be an N300 model. What's definitely statement checked. Now, let's move on over to Honda because looks like the first gen NSX is definitely now in, in the showroom because this one is the NSX Type R. Well, I kind of think that we also call excited about the Acura NSX 1991. So they decided to put the NSX Type R model could be in the Honda brand section board because this is going to be quite very good. So, well, we also seen in the live stream from the Gran Turismo official. So I kind of think it also has the number of colors goes by nine because well, I kind of think another hidden headlights is definitely 
quite coming in to be adding up for another one for it. So it also has to be available to choose. So I kind of think that I should probably go and pick the formula red. So this is going to be quite good for it. So in which another N300 car but another group division section for it. Because this is going to be quite good for the NSX to have this customizable. Now, I kind of think what's going on on Mazda. Well, the RX 500 is now available by update. So let's see which the price of it. Ooh, looks like it's only cost 500,000 credits. And this one is going to be as an N300 car. So it looks like 1970 style sport because it only has one color is the silver one for it. Well, maybe I could probably go and accept it and buy it for it. Because this is going to be good for it since Gran Turismo 6. Okay, this is going to be quite very impressive to have this 1970 style vehicle was definitely made by Mazda. So I kind of think that what's something forgotten on the Gran Turismo showroom? Well, I kind of think that the, the racing car 125 shifter is now available for it. So I kind of think it, it only has to use it by receive for only a racing equity, equity for it. So I kind of think that this is going to be a number 10 model, I guess. Well, give or take for it because it only has a lot of number of cards that's definitely shown by available for it. Well, I kind of think I already have another. I kind of think I have already have another a go kart for it. Well, I kind of think that I just got it, finally got it by one, but it was all good for now. So looks like that's all the nine cars plus uh, a go kart is now adding in for it. Maybe let's go and check a look on the photo scrapes, and then let's check it out on Fuji Speedway the famous circuit near Mount Fuji yeah I kind of think that this is very good to see it a lot of good images has ever yet to be shown but this is very excitement that we are about to be ex to take on the Fuji Speedway track boards so maybe I'll be able to take a little photo sh shot for it so I could probably have to choose one of the vehicles to be yet available okay so maybe I could probably start out using one of the cars I'm about to be used so maybe let's just gonna choose a Japanese car so that might be better to do it Okay, so maybe I should probably go and choose my drip car library and then this will be able to do it. So I'll just make sure that this will be able to be designable for it. Well, maybe unless I had to change a different racing outfit, but I'm still wearing the Screaming Gopher's outfit. So it'll be able to change for a few moments. So I might be able to get everything ready up and do it do a photo scrapes for it okay that's better now it's time to get ready to photo up for it so I decided I'm choosing the gate I recommend so this is gonna be quite good okay so let's just use my BRC drip car and then place the driver okay so 
still got a lot of poses to be available to get ready. Okay, so now, guess my guy is now ready to get get some photo op, and then, well, actually, I might be able to change different positions, so this is going to be good. There you go. Looks like this will be able to save this photo and now it's time to get ready to race. So looks like I'll be able to decide so I'll have to putting up another clip so don't go away folks. I'll just be able to be right back right after this. Alright folks I'm back. Now it's time to get ready to try out the Bougie Speedway. So looks like I might be able to start with Group 2 cars. So <clears throat> I'll be able to use the Nissan Moto UTEC GTR 2016. So this is going to be quite very good to be prepared. So looks like I might be able to use my GT500 library race car. So this is going to be quite to be prepped up and ready to go. Okay, where was I? Just taking a little drink. Fine water. Now, looks like it's time to get ready to do a custom race and then this is gonna be quite very excited for it. So definitely Fuji Speedway is now has two layouts, the same thing for it. Well, I kinda think it's on the bottom where the Nurburgrin and Auto Drumo de Interlagos was adding in for. So, looks like let's go for the full course and then it only has different time conditions has differently prepared for the first time. So, this is going to be quite very good because, well, maybe I should probably go with the app, a fine weather at noon. So, this is going to be good. Okay, so looks like it's time to get ready to go. Yep, I kind of think this is my GT500 race car from the live stream, but well, it also turns out what's left a bit for it, of course. Okay, let's go everything to be on professional. So starting grid position that I'm about to be at 20. Okay, so I kind of think that I might be able to have 10 laps of this track, so this is going to be quite very good. <laughs> okay, so it also needs to putting out some fuel consumption for it. Well, maybe it don't need fuel consumption by now because I just wanted to have everything set. So looks like it's go race and then let's have some of the group two cars about to be ready to join in. Okay, NSX, GTR, and RCF. Looks like this is going to be the usual ways to do it. Well, probably might need more group 2 cars we'll be able to be putting on for. Well, maybe maybe the official ways to have different libraries, but it always has the same thing for it. Because a 3 way mark one make race is going to be quite very good at it. And take a look at this. This is a good few conditions on the track for it because Welcome to Fuji Speedway, you guys. This track is definitely home of the G500 Super GT series. And also, of course, having a, a six hour endurance race on was definitely used for an endurance race of the World Endurance Championship. But it's been a long time since we also raced in G500 since Gran Turismo 4 until now, but we always enjoy playing Gran Turismo 5 and Gran Turismo 6 because this is going to be quite very good to be seen, seeing this track again. 
Looks like all the GT500 race cars are now finally happy again to race on one of the Japanese greatest track sports since Suzuka Circuit. Because good thing that chicane part is definitely quite going in for. Now looks like I got everything set up, so this time I'll be able to do racing hard tires because this is gonna have to take extended long time for it. But you know, this is gonna be quite pretty excited to see this different kind of fuel conditions for it. Well, it also depends whenever you're gonna change the time, whenever you're gonna go race with, because that might be quite awesome to see it for it. So, let's begin for it, because I am really to go for a GT500 race on Fuji Speedway. Now let's begin and then it's all 10 lap challenge to begin with. Okay, looks like 6 tier is definitely going on to be over exceed. So, looks like I had to master this skill again, because it's been a long time for us that we're about to take on with some group 2 car for it. Okay, so definitely the first turn is quite giving the edge simple. So definitely, this is definitely going to be a, a wide right turn. Looks like we're about to be approaching on the hairpin. Well, kind of thing that starts grabbing the comparison video because it also shows the differences in other game versions. Okay, here comes the chicane. This is definitely the hard part that we just remembered. Better get that turbocharged torque power up a bit because we're about to be climbing back up on the last turn. Okay, looks like I'm on the 19th place. Better have to do it right because just like good old times back in GT5 when we have Baker CT race car to be able to race on in. Very good. Just keep at it to make multiple passes on the GT500 cars on the straight until we reach on over back to the first turn. Whoa, that's getting a little bumpy here. This is going to be a little bit easier on the right turn while you're going on the mid throttle turn for it. Okay, very good. Now I'll be able to keep trying to race harder for it because this is going to be quite good since the Super GT 500 race on Fuji. Maybe this will also to have a, a 300km endurance event for it, but this is going to be have to be used on the custom race or the online lobby because this is going to be one of the most finest endurance race that we always wanted to start having with and start getting some gold hard earned credits to be able to do a lot of distance for it. Okay, here we go again, going back on the straight because this will also to get some more draft on, folks. Taking a long straight on this track can also get some more speed on because that might be very perfect. Okay, here we go. Back on the first turn, so this will keep it nice and steady. Oh, 
careful about that. This is definitely going to have a ordinary Beach 500 race. Well, man, for it to keep it steady, that could be a bad thing because it'll automatically spin out. Take on that chicane and then time to do a little bit of hill climb tactic. Okay, it looks like this is going to be good. Nine more cars remain because this is going to be quite getting a little bit of highly advanced technical skills for any motorsport sport because this is going to be quite very good for this big old favorite part for us. The long straight on Fuji. This is going to be quite very good to have all the fast cars to be reached up in first place until the checkered flag comes. Very good. That's definitely quite giving the more speed to be maximized on six and then It'll be switched back to one until it'll be slowed down. Okay, that's gonna be a little bit harder for us because the right turn is definitely quite giving the best advantage, but it also has to take a little caution if we have to be very careful. So it looks like it's been six minutes since the start of the race. Now we're still going at it. Okay, there we go. We can just go keep it in. So definitely a hard thing whenever you're going to do the inside turn on the last corner because this is going to be quite giving the usual way unless other race cars can also have to take a little hill climb section up until the final corner to be getting a little bit tougher and difficult. Now looks like this is going to be quite getting in for it because back on the straight and then this will give you a little bit more practice time. Only got five gaps left. It looks like we're in the halfway point, you guys. Because this part of the segment for the September update, GT500 race cars and 10 laps on Fuji Speedway. This is going to be quite very good to extend it out for having a little bit of a daily workout complete. So for the only fact is, we should probably need a 300 kilometer endurance bit. This is going to be quite good to be able to race on in the endurance league. Well, I kind of think that the first part of the endurance event on, on every Grand Turismo game, we really missed the Grand Valley 300 km. 60 laps, very longer for it because it is quite very good and impressive. Okay, there you go. This will keep it on straight. Now let's make it a little bit of the path. GT500 Lexus RCF. Now, looks like I'm still focusing on it and then the five gap has gone away for a little bit. Eight six laps might be able to go on. But luckily this is gonna have to take a few concentration for any other GT500 race cars can also race on any Japanese track including 
goofy speedway. Well, I kind of think the 2006 GT500 can also join in to have a, an excitement party for it. That will be quite very impressive for any two cars to share for it. Back on the chicane again, then do, do some hill climbing technique corners to be able to go in. So probably in the future, when this track is going to be putting on the circuit experience, well, I kind of think that by the next update, I think that this is going to be the first anniversary of Gran Turismo Sports. Yeah, I kind of think this is going to be very special that everybody is really excited to see. Well, I don't know what is going to do something on the first anniversary of Gran Turismo Sport. Well, maybe have everyone to have some thoughts about it. So we should probably have to get ready to have a one big excitement party going on for it. Okay, that's going to be the seven laps. So it looks like it only comes down for it because three GT500 race cars left because I might be able to get some more skills for it because my Nissan GTR GT500 library is going to have to take some more concentration to be able to get pulled. Okay, it looks like I'm on the top three. Only got three more laps to go. Okay, this is going to be quite yet to hold on then. Just always going to have to take a little air brake pressure until you're going to do the chicane part. Just the apex are the good ones that also give us the advantage for moves of every motorsport racing. Now, looks like the Nissan GTR comes in first place. This is going to be quite very good to be ready for. Now, let's go and reach the climb up to the top. Okay, looks like a new record set. This is going to be quite very close. Okay, so this is going to be quite giving a little bit of practicing dive in on the dirt on the second corner before reaching in on the right speed section turn. Come on. Hope my GTR is going to have to take a little bit of winning spot for the GT500 victory line. So probably when using the pool course, the barriers might be unable to use. Well, maybe don't want to cut through a bit because it might be able to get sucked in for it. But it may cause us to restart the race and start over. So this is going to be quite very good use for it when you're using the pool course track with the chicane mark on. So looks like I might be able to still trying to catch up to the first place GTR because this is going to have to take a little bit much patience to be able to come, come up with. Now we're on the ninth lap. Almost there until the daily workout is going to be complete soon. Okay, that might be able to keep it in for having a little well stability condition. Almost there. I can 
nail it because first place is on a row. Well, pretty move for the Moto GTR AU Tech. But this is going to be one simple chance and it looks like first place and stand for taking a long wait for the moment. Yeah, definitely that might be the hard part whenever there's, when you make a mistake. So this is going to be a hard thing to do to mastering the Blue Sea Speedway is to always to drive like a pro by using a GT500 race car. Well, kind of think that the World Endurance Championship used Blue Sea Speedway so this will also take a long hour race for it because I kind of think six hours of Fuji is definitely the most anticipated event for any other GT and prototype race cars to be able to use the Japanese track. So, looks like this is it. Final lap is on its way. Now, looks like I'll be able to use the interior view to see how the, how the track goes well for it because this is all about concentration and bonding where the track will be able to do it until you'll be able to do it right. Okay, so these later is definitely ticked in the new fastest lap time. But I kind of think most experts can also be used the long straight, so this is going to be giving a little bit of fast improvement lap time. So I had to make sure, so I could probably have to beat the current lap time by taking practice. A minute and 34 seconds. That's going to be a quite pretty impressive new fast time for it. Okay, so probably the easy way to make it slower is to climb up to do the inside turn on the final part. This is going to be quite good to take a long stretch until the checker flag comes in and then, ooh, looks like my GT500 library just came in first. Just like Super GT event all over again, folks. That was a total time of 60 minutes. That was quite very good. So, looks like this is going to be a quite good total distance yet to be achieved. That was a quite pretty excitement for having a 28.3 miles. But it is quite very possibly to have 10 lap race on the track. So maybe let's check the replay and see how it turns out. Okay, so it looks like this is going to be quite good, so 8 minutes to be able to give a little bit of small preview time. Well, the camera is definitely quite different from the replay since the last two games, because we also like to see the because, well, we also saw the, re the live footage for it because most other GT players from the World Tour events. I kind of think that the next part is going to be a quite very far view ever yet to be shown. So it's going to be good because that radius turn after turn two is quite very hard in the fan sports because this is quite pretty amazing if any other fast cars can also take a little bit of chance. Okay, so definitely the barrier with two red and one white was definitely put on. Yeah, that might be the part. 
Well, I kind of think that having a clean, simple race without getting struck on the barriers, well, I kind of think that could be a, a hard thing to do unless if they want to start over and try again for it. Okay, so definitely check on the variable camera type, you might be able to see it. So this is going to be quite possibly to change two different views to see. Well, maybe let's see the variables in much cinematic. Oh, this part, this is very exciting. That should be quite very good. forgot about the other last part that definitely that we also saw the the WEC part. Well I kinda of think Fuji Speedway was definitely always has to be able to use with the H five hundred race cars and WEC cars are also to be able to use for the endurance event for it, but this is gonna be quite very good to have the Japanese course for it. FIA really impressive for having two race series to be able to share this for it, but 
Well, even so, Japanese race series can also take a little bit of money. Pretty exciting for them. And also the prototype cars and the long race cars can also take some long power endurance races. And also the Super G series cars can also take the 300 km or well, maybe 300 km or G500 and G300 cars to be able to race to win. Okay, so looks like maybe this is going to be the right time to end this replay and then maybe let's go and exit out for getting that car from the daily workout. I hope this is going to be the usual, but that I might be able to look for. Another Mazda Intensa start stated out as group 3 car so this will be added in. Now I kind of think putting up for the next and last final part is I might be able to go for the GT part. So this time I might be able to choose a different time condition so maybe maybe let's go for the day, day break time so this is gonna be quite good so I might be able to start out with any other cars that I might be able to choose so maybe let's use the date acquired so maybe I'll be able to try out with the with one of the new cars to be available so I kind of think let's go for the Porsche 911 GT3 model 996 so this is gonna be quite good so yeah i kind of think i might be able to go with two laps so maybe let's do with a grid start by now okay let's go pro and then this will be able to make it three laps so that might be better so definitely this part that i might be able to use for it and looks like a amuse s2000 gt1 turbo might be joining in for the race because well Standard supercar and looks like the GT3 RS model 991 is now ready to join in. Well, looks like this is going to be the match of the different Porsche models of the, of the decade, you guys. New Porsche are about to be raced out for first place. So, maybe let's take a good look at this good performance to be able yet to be shown. Well, I kind of think this is good. Six gear is perfect and also to recommend for the balance of performance. So this is might be very good and looks like this is quite very perfect for a time variation for it. So looks like this part that let's try out for the Porsche GT3 model, model 996. Well, kind of think the N400 car is quite giving the durable capable look for it so maybe let's check inside of this interior well I kind of think this is 2001 style but this is quite very good because this vehicle is definitely quite good since Gran Turismo 3 now probably I might be able to pass in to make it a little bit achievable to win this race for it well, just hold on one moment. Okay, where was I? Okay, it looks like this is gonna be quite good. So, I kinda think that all segments is definitely now quite giving the coefficient move. Now, let's see how this 2001 model can also defeat the supercar sport. This is, might be the chance to be remembered, folks. Okay, so probably this time, no chicane parts is definitely yet to be coefficient. So this is gonna be quite very challenging effect. So if we might be able to make sure that the barriers are quite yet to be chose to be sealed. Open or close chicane whenever it depends on. Okay. 
try to keep it up. Well, good news is because two fours are now adding in for it because hope there will be more coming in later on for it because well, it also has to reach the total limit of 500 cars because this is going to be quite very important for Calibrity Digital to reach up to its current goal. Now, looks like we're on the second lap for it because this is going to be quite very trickier and easier. And then... Ooh, ooh, solid turn performance and looks like that's overtaking the Porsche 911 GT3 RS 2016 just overtake by the 2001 model. That was quite very good to be impressed. Now, looks like the S2000 is currently now in third place. That's giving a little bit of tricky guess moment. Okay, so NSX is now currently in first place. This is, might be very good to see it. So probably 17 years until now for the Porsche 911 GT3 2001, because this is going to be ready to go to be raced up in GT Sports, and everybody likes to have this one because this is going to be quite good for it. Okay, pass on to the Aston Martin DB11, then third gen NSX goes second. Not bad for our 8-speed transmission supercar for it. So let's see how fast can it go to reach it up in, in 6 gear to take a little bit straight. So this is going to be good for this interior style to give it much more better. Well, I kind of think this style is pretty amazing. Okay, here comes the hard part. This time the inside turn is going to be quite giving the right direction to do. Well, I kind of think that on the right of the speed monitor, it also shows the number of the RPM was definitely quite going in to be increased. Well, I kind of think that this is definitely the total time. much good almost there to take on over to the last stretch only got a few more corners left so my only guess is I guess that this is going to be the speed speed time for it because that might be able to show on the interior view style for it. Well, it is definitely a little enhanced, but oh my gosh, I kind of think the Porsche 911 is definitely quite coming in for it. I kind of think that the 2016 model really wants the 2001 to go for a challenge. So the matter of fact is, model 996, Porsche has definitely took the winning spot. Well, I kind of think that was a pretty impressive clean race bonus by now. So this is pretty lucky for it. And that was the best update ever, you guys. But I kind of like it. But the Porsche is definitely quite adding up for it by giving a little bit of features. So looks like it's time to go and check out on the mileage exchange because I just took 
took a break from yesterday so I kind of think go green for this one of course so this is might be pretty good so I'll be able to go for the G4 small flakes and G6 mate and probably the G5 aluminum metallic this is gonna be quite very good to see it so looks like eight eight cars is now probably by giving the brand new board including the go-kart part was definitely quite adding in by giving the update board so probably I'm still waiting for getting that 20 million historic race car board but I'll make sure I'll be able to try out one of the eight cars for it because the first one that I tried out is the Porsche 911 GT3 model number 996 2001 was definitely the good start for it because that might be able to do it for the next custom race board. So what I did pretty learned something else from the September update. The Bucci Speedway is quite very a good and impressive corner that might be able to drive straight until you be able to get a chance to reach the finish line by first place. And the only fact about the other model sports, well the XNL Jada Roaster and the RX 500 is now definitely quite made its return especially the BMW M3 GT BMW Motorsport was definitely become a group 3 car category so three cars from Gran Turismo 6 is now probably joining in in GT Sport because we are very excited that we're about to take some new challenges that we're about to be looking forward for it. All right, folks. Glad that you enjoyed this special event going on for it. So looks like this is going to be quite very good for the September update. So thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed. So please don't forget to click like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube. And don't forget the links on the description down below in case if you're interesting enough to, to see more. So, looks like that's all the good stuff that we're, that we're about to see on the September update on Gran Turismo Sport. And the, until the next month, I guess the first year anniversary of Gran Turismo Sport is coming because we are excited to celebrate for it. So... Grab some party stuff and then let's celebrate until October comes sports until the next update arrives. I hope this is going to be quite very amazing that we're about to be looking forward for it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time to continuing on in Gran Turismo Sports. Keep on racing, stay cool.